you can dual wield any combination of one-handed weapons. I don't give a fuck. Hey, welcome back. Apparently by crashing my plane, I got fucking recuperated in this village, so I don't have to go nearly as far as I thought I had to, so hey, yeah, that's cool. Alrighty then, let's just fucking get over the fact that I crashed a fucking freighter jet plain thing into the city nearby. Or, I'm sorry, this pleasant looking town. Or, I don't know, it's kind of a boardwalk, I guess. Maybe. Oh, who cares. Whatever. We've got fucking progress to do, and I have to admit, now, I'm, I'm having a lot more fun with this game than I had before. I don't know, just doing the missions by itself is pretty boring, but I'm uh, having fun with all the dumb shit I was doing in the last episode. I mean, what can I say? I was actually having fun with it. Just driving the motorcycles around, crashing boats, uh, crashing airplanes. All sorts of fun little shit. Oh, God. Where? Okay, here. Haha! -ha! Just like a true uh, super spy ninja, I guess. I hope... Okay, good. I was afraid I'd gotten under the building somehow and wouldn't be able to fucking get back out. All right, buddies. I'm here to do whatever it is I really do. I cause chaos more than anything. I honestly don't think I'm doing any favors for this fucking civilization here. This nice little tropical island town. Hey guys, which one are you? Are you the crazy fuckers from before, or I guess it's just a phone? I guess this is my boss, a phone? Hello. You look like an unpleasant man with a yellow bandana. You as well, sir. Oh, uh, well, I guess I traded places with the one. No, oh, there he is. Okay, they're just staring at me, I guess. What that second one even get up to do? He's just like, he just left me. He didn't want to sit next to me. I'm kind of hurt by that. Ooh, ooh, this place is cool. I like this. Are these the crazy, like, cult people? I mean, I kind of have to assume since I'm being brought into an ancient temple that maybe these guys are a bit religious. Oh, I don't want to deal with that. Hmm. You know, you can't judge a book by its cover, though. These guys may be religious, but they might be really cool religious. Well, now drink the fucking Kool-Aid. Uh-huh, the Ulars. Oh, Ulars, I'm sorry. Dude, you just pushed me away, and now you're trying to feel up on me again? Okay, so these are the crazy fuckers that want to take their land back. Okay. Um, get your hand off my shoulder, you weirdo. Take your turban off. Well, I mean, technically, I'm a foreign Indeed, devil, too. Your reputation uh, precedes you. Yeah. They call you Scorpio. Uh, I guess. You Who even spreads my reputation? That weird fucking drunk I'm guy? To get the job done. Yeah, I guess. I could have gotten the job done quicker last episode and actually gotten here in 15 minutes, but no. I'm looking for an American. Oh, I thought he was saying that. I was like, American? oh, how convenient. Huh? We're both American hunters. We're not American. I swear. A very dangerous uh -huh. American. I, I don't even remember what's important about this guy we're going after. Like, this game is not sticking with me at all. The, I remember more of the times that I got lost or wake, like wasted time. But I don't remember the actual plot of this game. Like, at all. I know I'm a secret agent, I'm after some white dude. I'll do as I'm told and keep my mouth shut. Wow, that's not, that's not like you at all. You talk so much, Mr. Enrico. Mm. Hmm, that sounds fair. Stop speaking your language in my American taken over country, you Sir Dadu or whatever you said. Okay, what are we- oh god, we're doing another one of those fucking stronghold missions, aren't we? Ooh, this place looks cool, though. Also doesn't look like anything I've ever seen in fucking architecture, but honestly I don't know anything about architecture of ancient civilization, so whatever. Oh my god, this is so cool. I hope I actually get to do, like, a passenger helicopter ride, like, um, what do you call it, moment? I don't fucking know. I like those. I've already talked about my hard-on for passenger seat things before. I like the perspective of it. Driving, I get a little bit weary of, especially when I'm not good at it, but, I don't know, passenger seat. I like being along for a ride sometimes. It's cool. I don't like a whole game being a ride, but, eh, I don't know, occasionally it's fun. Yeah, don't like, I don't like it when it's, like, a fucking... A ride like in, uh, fucking Asura's Wrath. That thing is nothing but you're being taken on a ride. Or Sonic games. Not, uh, Sonic Heroes actually isn't so bad about it, I guess. Because I guess there's those scenes where you actually are just like, I don't know, comp fight fighting. Oh, whoa. This looks like something right out of a secret agent movie. I like it. I like this setting already, but it's another fucking escort car. mission. Okay, I cool. Into that computer system <sighs> and override the More the same shit there. in a different place, okay, I guess. Let's hope it's cool. Oh, okay, I'll follow you guys, actually. I guess they're escorting me, aren't they? Oh, hello. How do I look down the site? How do I even pull out my gun? Oh, God, I threw a grenade. Ah, take it. And Oh, hey, it actually killed him. How about that? 
Okay, can how do, okay, there we go. Oh, I had to pull my gun out first. Well, that's stupid. I don't like that. Just fucking yeah, there we go. Just gonna let the auto aim take care of my problems and get headshots all over. Me. Yeah, seriously, if I look away like this a bit and then yep, yeah, there you go. I didn't move the control stick at all. I just decided, hey, let's put the fucking sights on this guy's head and shoot him. Honestly, I don't care about that. I know it's something a lot of people would complain about. I'm just glad it gets the job done. And besides, I'm playing as a fucking awesome super secret agent who should already be able to fucking aim a gun worth his fucking life. So yeah, I think it, it helps build the, uh, what do you call it, the, the setting, the mood, I don't fucking, oh god, quick time events. I don't know, it's more immersive, I guess, if you're pretending to be a character that can actually fucking shoot a gun. Unlike me, who if I tried to aim a gun, I would not be able to do a goddamn thing. Especially when the gun's out of ammo, too. Okay, how do I, what's my other gun? What do I got? I got this thing, what is this thing? This is a shotgun, ain't it? Oh no, this is like a fucking mounted machine gun. It's an LMG. Fucking love it. Alrighty then, what do we got? Uh, we got... What is that? Oh, those pieces. I need those, don't I? Here, give me that. Uh, oh, and I should also try to blow up more of these things just so my chaos goes up. Uh, here, what do I have? I've got a grenade. I could throw it over there, but... Uh, whatever. Oh, okay, that's something to take care of, actually. Here, buddy, take some of that. <laughs> God damn, I love this gun. I hope I don't run out of ammo for it anytime soon, right? Here, let's pick up some of this ammo. You know, because that thing I was just saying was going to happen. I'm going to run out. Be sad and alone without my fucking LMG to take care of me. Uh, that'd be a good fucking. If when I go, when I get Alzheimer's, go to a senior citizen home and just like I'm sitting around sad and dejected that my children never come visit me. I hope I can at least have the company of my LMG. And my LMG that Obama's gonna take away from me, which I don't even know what I'm saying. That Obama's not a president anymore. Fucking and Trump wouldn't take it away. That's for damn sure. The fucking filthy liberals won't take my guns away from me. Or I don't fucking know. I wouldn't be the type to be upset about having a gun taken away from me. I'm not even the type that have a gun in the first place. I do have many a sword, though. Well, many a sword, I say. I have couple a sword, which... Oh, man, I don't know if I talked about... Oh, hello, fucking sniper. Okay, cool. I don't know if I, like, talked about this before, but Texas is actually... Oh, shit. Uh, Texas is actually fucking getting, um... What do you call it? They're doing some stupid you fucking thing. A law is being you passed, or a bill, that lets people actually, He's like, carry swords around. Yeah. Which I thought was just astounding. I'm kind of like, oh, that's neat because I have those and it would be cool to not get in trouble for just having them. Which I, I don't know how the rulings with that go. I think it's, it's one of those things where it's like your house is your property and you can do what you want on your property as long as it doesn't disturb other people. But, I mean, I don't know. I don't fucking know. Who cares, right? But if I could have a sword and I could just carry it around in public and be all cool like, I would be satisfied. Actually, I already told everybody I know about this, because <laughs> let me tell you something. I was the first person people went to when they were like, Hey, did you hear that fucking, we're going to be allowed to carry swords and stuff? Are you going to do that? And I was like, no, actually, I'm not a fucking loser. I'm not one of those people that's going to get off on being able to fucking carry some kind of a weapon around. So fucking, that's the main problem I have with everything in the first place. Sure, it's cool. You carry your, you can, you have permission to like open carry and whatnot. That's fine. Whatever. But doing it, like, in the way that everyone's interested in doing it is, like, doing it for attention. And I'm not interested in attention for carrying a fucking sword or a gun or anything. That's my fucking, that's my whole stance on that. You can have it, you can fucking conceal, carry, whatever the fuck you want, whatever makes you feel better about your fucking life. But don't do it for attention. That's my main thing. That's the thing that I get out of watching everybody. It's like, everybody that I knew from high school that got up in arms about, like, the right to have guns and whatnot. It just all seemed like they wanted it for the sake of, like, having a fucking gun to show off to their friends. And there's all those arguments where it's like, But what if a fucking uh, criminal uh, shooter sword fighter breaks into my school and is attempting to steal my rice -a mix? Okay, shoot them, I guess. I don't know. Okay, whatever. I don't care. Yeah, that's... whatever. I've made my point. I've got my stance taken now. I don't need to worry about anything else. All I need to worry about is my shotgun and the fact that this fucking asshole still hasn't hacked the building. Or has he? Have you finished your job yet, buddy? Only got, you're not even... you're inside the computer, that's for sure, but you're not actually in the fucking computer. You're not hacking the mainframe, you're fucking breaking time and space by phasing through that object. 
Although I guess me, I don't know, time might be involved, but space or space is definitely involved. I don't fucking know. You do your thing, buddy. I'm just gonna fucking sit here and wait. Actually, ooh, stronghold commander. Show oh, shit. He's oh, I I guess he's I guess he's trying to come over to us, but he's having some problems. Can't really execute the K turn. I understand, buddy. I too am a bad driver. Here, can I take care of this from here? Actually, that'd be very. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. Okay. Let's take care of this in a good old-fashioned way. Chucking a bunch of grenades from cover where I should be safe. Okay, maybe not. Buddy, can you just come closer? Ah, oh, there you go. Ah, you fool. You've actually made my work easier for me. Now I can just chuck grenades from here. And, ah, oh, there we go. Ha ha. Can I take the car, too? Is that it, actually? Is that all we have to do? Yep, I guess they're cheering my name now, so that's one thing. Boy, are they gonna be upset when they find out I've been cheating on them with the Reapers and the fucking Roaches. Oh, man. I'm anxious for that to happen. I'm actually expecting that very much at some point, that all the fucking gangs are gonna come after me and try to kill me. I don't know if it's anything like Saints Row 2 and 3. Yeah, 3 had the same fucking thing. There, it, the fucking... It's going to be one of those things where you do all the missions and then you never have to worry about them again. Except for if you cause trouble in their territory. I think that's how it worked in Saints Row 2 and 3. I don't know. 3 kind of got rid of it a bit. If everyone was just against you in Saints Row 3. 2, you were trying to make friends. 3 is just like, I don't know, Saints were at the top. Man, that'd be fun to play. I've already talked about this, though. I don't know if I did on camera. Ah, whatever. I tried recording Saints Row 2 once upon a time. It did not work out. For the same reason that I was kind of like, it wasn't working out in this game, I kept getting distracted and, I don't know, it just felt weak in general as I was recording it. But, I don't know, if I get used to how it works while playing this game, like with open worlds and whatnot, I might get into it. I might do some fucking Saints Row 2 in the future. It's 2 or 3 or 4, I don't know, they're all pretty entertaining. But I'd rather do two because that's the one I haven't played in the longest time, and it's it was kind of amusing. That's when it started being funny, but was still kind of serious. Mainly, I want to do some stupid shit with the hand-to-hand -hand fighting because I remember the styles that you had in that were cool. Oh, hey, okay. hello, phone. Why are you ringing at me? I really Rules care about the news. Oh, Sloth. That doesn't sound like Sloth at all. Is he just sending me some fucking random message he has? Uh -huh. Do we have planes in this place, by the way? I'd rather take one of those now that I think about it. Mm. Okay. Yeah, fun, fun, fun. Fun, normal stuff. Sloth, were you actually going to say anything? Yep, there he is. The same fucking thing he always says every time I meet a fucking new person. You just don't like me having friends, Sloth Demon. You just think everyone's a fucking bad guy, don't you? You just, you're just jealous of me. You're jealous of all the time I spend with people besides you, even though I've never fucking seen your face before. I don't even think I've bought any of his black market goods yet. Oh well, whatever. Let's take this helicopter and dick around for the last three minutes of this episode. Oh, hello. Raza. Uh huh. I mean, I, I was already told about this guy from fucking Lady Friend. Yeah, White Tiger, I, I remember that. And that all you had to say? Actually, that's all I had to say? Do not have anything else to fucking add to that? Like, wow, thanks, Mr. fucking Roach Commander. I'm really glad you told me that. Oh, well, whatever. He's not fucking Enrico Montoya isn't the type of guy that would fucking say thank you. He's too badass for that. Uh, what do we got over here? We got some more faction missions. I don't know, Taming the Beast, that sounds kind of cool. Uh, but, I don't know, they keep saying the shit about the White Tiger. I was kind of expecting, you know... That mission to be around was agency mission. I guess I need a little bit more chaos for that to happen. Does this thing have guns? Not at all. Well, yeah, I guess I'll just fly around and fucking end the episode somewhere closer to my next mission. Which actually, if there's one here, there is. Oh, there is! Haha! -ha. That's f that's that's fry me to the moon. Okay, I I'm kind of offended by the the obvious jab at Asian language here, but I guess I'll I'll, I'll accept it. Whatever. Fuck. <laughs> I gotta stop doing that thing where I try to sound like I'm offended by things. Even though it's not very convincing whatsoever, it makes, it makes me worried. One of these days, someone will take me seriously and be like, Oh, Gator Snapper's a social justice warrior. Actually, fuck, with all the things I've said in Sonic Heroes, I might as well be a social justice warrior. I'm sorry, I have stances that I attempt to take that sound too serious for me. Eh, whatever. Hmm, I just notice this, actually. Where's all the wildlife? What the fuck is that? Holy shit! It's a floating castle in the sky! It's Studio Ghibli! They got it over there! What is that? I'm curious about that. Why is that fucking thing... Is that just a cloud that's, like, too dark compared to the rest of the clouds? 
And it looks like a fucking floating rock in the sky. It's Knuckles' fucking floating Angel Island or some shit. And then there's something below it, too. Is that the Chaos Emerald itself? Or the Master Emerald, rather? And maybe it's just a blimp. Damn, I'm curious. I want to check it out, but it's so fucking far away. Also, it's very unlikely that they'd have a fucking floating island in this game, but oh my god, the more I look at it, the more it looks like a solid object rather than a cloud. Ah, I'm just so curious, but I don't have the time to get over there. Shit, I don't even have the time to get over here. This helicopter is slow as fuck. I really... Oh, wait. Oh, no, is this it? I was just about to say, I gotta break into the secret military base and take their fucking airplanes from them. Let's see. Do you have airplanes here? Excuse me. Do you have secret test fighter jets that I could maybe partake of? No? Well, I'd like to land my helicopter anyways exactly right into these things so that they will explode. Excuse me. Sorry. I'm just... Oh, oh boy. Oh, this is awkward. Man, this... This sure isn't something I was expecting today. Oh, no! Oh, the chaos! Oh, it's everywhere! Ah. Oh. Well, I guess I'll just end this episode right here on that fucking clusterfuck. So, yeah. This has been a Gator Snapper playthrough. See you guys in the next one. Later, everybody.